Here is the scouting report on all three from our super scout, Brendan Brown. Anthony Randolph, an active shot blocker and a good runner. A quick roller and pick and roll set, still learning and has strength issues. They can fix that. Glenna Azabuki, a much improved player. His shooting numbers have gone up just about every year. He's a major factor on the break. Mike D'Antoni loves that. He's a very solid three-point shooter and is an excellent help defender. Ronnie Turia, hard-working big guy who plays with energy, great timing on shot blocks, has some trouble finishing over any size. We'll see in a moment if he agrees with that, Brendan. Yeah. But here's a little bit of a glimpse on Ronnie Turia's game, Kelly. Yeah, you know, I've, I've watched Ronnie since he's been in the league. I think he did a great job with the Lakers uh, coming in and providing just what they needed. Offensive rebound, an active guy around the glass. I think he has great shot blocking skills. And, you know, if you can finish like that, you're going to have no problems. I, I think he's a guy that uh, can really help the Knicks. He's going to make Amari Stoudemire better as well as uh, Amari making him a better player. Well, Ronnie, who joins us now, welcome to the New York Knicks. You were smiling mm -hmm. there. What did you think about that scouting report on you? Uh, that's pretty accurate. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Uh, I know that if I have somebody to score over in the paint, I will do my best to finish through them. You had one of the scariest beginnings to an NBA career. Do you look back on your heart problem and the surgery when you were picked by the Lakers as a scary time in your life? No. I look at it as, as a great time in my life. Uh, that was at the time where that event brought my family together. Uh, it was the first time in 17 years that myself, my mom, my dad and my sister had dinner at the same table. So for those negative events, some positive came out of it. So it happened so fast that I didn't have time to think about it too much. So, Ronnie, three years with the Lakers, you then go to Golden State, you come to the New York Knicks. So you played in Los Angeles, in uh, Oakland. Now you're getting ready to play here uh, in the great city of New York. You bring two guys with you that have some experience, especially Kalena Azabuki. And Anthony Randolph is a young player that many people feel has the potential to be a star in this league if he can develop. He's only 21 years old. Uh, my little brother has a, has a great potential. Uh, he's somebody that's always looking for reassurance and somebody that's learning how to be a professional and I think here is the perfect scenario for him to be successful. I mean uh, Coach D'Antoni has a system where if you make the right plays, if you make the right read, everybody's going to be successful. So I think that's the perfect case scenario for him. A couple of things for me, Ronnie. The fact that uh, you were a bit player with the Lakers and that's very important. Certainly did an excellent job uh, for them and winning a championship and, and, and so on. You go to Golden State, and now all of a sudden you're asked to do a little bit more. You're playing more minutes. Obviously, the scoring average goes up. In this kind of system, you're going to be asked to score a little bit. I would assume you would like that role. Oh, most definitely. Uh, I would go back to my Gonzaga days when I was scoring 40-plus. You know, <laughs> uh, That's always nice to be, to be counted on. But, you know, I see myself as a player that can get into any situation and adapt. I was in Los Angeles. I was playing alongside great players. I was playing great off those guys. Then in Golden State, it was a little bit different, rebuilding. I was doing a great job. And now this is a situation where I can be successful because there is excitement about needing what I can bring to the table. And I think I can do that too. What about a leadership role? Because obviously one of the things, and Gus and Al, you know that this team needs some leaders. They need some guys to step up. And here's a guy that played you know, on the world championship team, and he's also played with a young team. What can you bring to the table as far as that's concerned? Because with the Knicks, we know the Knicks are very, very young, and they're up and coming, and they're looking for people to show the way. I'm going to bring myself. I mean, I wouldn't know how to answer that any, any differently. I, all I know how to do is play hard, do whatever I can to help my teammate in any way possible, and hopefully guys can just follow me in a sense and I think uh, I have a pretty good sense of what's good to do what's not good to do so hopefully we can have some fun out there. Hey uh, Ronnie Anthony talked about a moment ago how he's matured in his two years in the NBA. How have you seen that maturity? Nice. Yeah that was nice. By the way. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was big size actually. Um, so bad scouting report but anyways. <laughs> Brown. I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure I will see him. But uh, Anthony uh, came at the in the league as a really young player uh, in a situation where he was asked to do stuff he was asked to, to to act in a way that maybe he was not ready for that and I think going through a hard time and going through situation where you're not very successful as you want I think it helps you mature and be a better person and a better player so you have great belief that he can develop to the next step 
I can't tell you that because I don't want his head to get too big. That's my, <laughs> that's my little brother, but uh, deep down he knows how I feel about him. Well, you're telling me you're going to be on his butt every single day to become a better player because I watched him in, in college and I was scouting at, the, at that time. And he came in for the workout with the Knicks and he was one of those guys who was high on the list. They ended up picking uh, Danilo Gallinari, but what we saw from Randolph was a kid, as Ronnie said, you know, still young, still struggling, still growing into his body. Mm -hmm. But you could see the skill level was there. It was just a matter of how hard he was going to work, how big they can get him, how healthy he could stay, and to kind of get him out of his shell. And I think with all those things blossoming together, it, the potential is certainly there. Almost definitely. And uh, like I've been talking to him, and he's been doing a tremendous job being in the weight room and doing all the stuff that people have been asking him to do. So I, I do not see why he wouldn't be successful.